In this quick video, I'm gonna share with you the top free softwares for coaches. The only three you need to run your online coaching business. So let's get into it. Welcome back to our how to launch your online coaching business 30 day series. Now, in case this is our first time meeting, hey, what's up, I'm Jeff. And myself and my girlfriend, Jess, we're a couple of online business coaches who have scaled not one, but two, six for your coaching businesses, both within 90 days organically. And now the whole purpose of the series is to share with you the lessons we learned along the way. And our goal is to make it so that you can use the series to get your first or your next high paying coaching clients. Now in this video specifically, I'm gonna share with you the top three softwares you need to run your coaching business. And the best part is, they're all free. Now before we get into this list, the first thing I wanna mention is if you end up working with us, we know all these softwares like the back of our hands. So if you're digging my vibe in this video, you're digging our vibe in this quick start series and you wanna take things to the next level, awesome, we'd be happy to help. We could literally help you click by click through the whole process. We've got you dialed when it comes to these softwares. The best part is all these are free, just like I talked about earlier, but also these are tried and true companies. These are not new kids on the block when it comes to software. And the thing to keep in mind, no matter what software you're using, is don't use the new softwares. Don't be an early adopter when it comes to softwares. I'll tell you a quick backstory on how I learned this one the hard way. Back in the day, I used ClickFunnels as an early adopter. I was one of the first few people to use it, and it was buggy as frick. Back then, in my consulting days, I would run paid traffic for clients and for myself, and then ClickFunnels went down for a whole week. It wasn't working. It was spotty at best. I'm being very generous with that. And as a result, I was spending thousands of dollars per day and basically that money was just going straight down the drain because ClickFunnels was not functioning properly. So long story short, keep in mind that whatever software you use, make sure that they've been around for a while, you're not a new adopter of it. That way they've already gotten the bugs out. Make sense? Cool, so with that being said, let's get into this list. So first, let's talk about software number one, Stripe, which you'll be using for payments. So Stripe is a payment processing software that you'll be using for your business. They charge a 2.9% fee per transaction, which is pretty freaking standard. And the cool thing is, once you're making over 50K a month, you can literally just hit them up via their support, which is really freaking good. Jess and I love talking to them in both Spanish and English. They're so helpful, which is kind of hard to find usually in a support desk. So we got to give it up to Stripe. Like they have a really good support desk. But if you're making over 50K a month, then you can hit them up and negotiate lower fees. So you can use Stripe to receive both payments and send invoices, which is epic. And the biggest pro to them is that they understand online business. What I mean by that is they understand that your payments coming in in your first couple months might be up and down. You might get some irregular activity. So for example, in your first couple months, maybe you're making you know, a couple thousand and then maybe it shoots up really fast to 20K to 30K to 50K. Now, Stripe overall has, from what we've seen with ourselves and with our clients, we've had no issues with that. We have seen zero lockups. On the other hand, with payment processors like PayPal, for instance, they will see that irregular activity and there's a good chance they will freeze your account for up to six months. It's happened to me, it's happened to a whole bunch of our friends. Now, even though we really don't like PayPal, as a tip, you always wanna have a backup and that's where PayPal comes in. So let's just say that at the end of a sales call that you're trying to process a future client's payment and for whatever reason Stripe isn't working, you don't wanna just be like, oh, you know, hey, let's just pause my payment processor, it's not working. No, you wanna make sure that the potential client of yours still feels at ease and be like, you know what, for whatever reason, Stripe just isn't processing this payment, let's do it on PayPal. Sound good? Okay, cool. That way you stay in the driver's seat, you make sure that you keep control and you actually close that client and get paid. Make sense? So the URLs for Stripe is stripe.com. 
Now let's talk about software too, Zoom, which you'll be using for calls. And here's why we like Zoom. It's hands down the best way to have online meetings with clients. It's a great way to host your client interviews and then easily record them, put them up on your website to then attract more clients to you and give you a little more credibility, which is always awesome. That builds some, some trust and it allows you to run your coaching calls as well. So again, we just freaking love it. So Zoom has both free and paid plans. Now the free will only allow you to record until about 40 minutes of a call. So just keep that in mind. If you're thinking that your sales calls are gonna be about above 40 minutes, then you're gonna to wanna to pony up for the $15 a month plan, which again, is not really breaking the bank, but if you're running quick sales calls, you just turn and burn them and you're keeping them 15 to 30 minutes, stick with the free plan. And a great thing about Zoom is you can share your screen. Now this is great when you're giving a demo of your program, if you've already got something built out, or even if you don't have anything built out yet, maybe you're taking on one of your first five clients and you're getting them excited, is you can literally show them a sales deck or you can show them literally a one pager. This is what we create with our clients, is it's a one pager that shows them on one page what they're getting. It's got a little sexy banner at the top and maybe we'll do a video on what a good one pager looks like. But with Zoom, it's really cool because then you could just be like, hey, you sound like you'd be a good fit for my coaching. Cool if I share with you what I do and how I could help. They'll be like, yes, like, okay, cool. I'm just pulling up my screen right now. Can you see it okay? Awesome, cool. So here's my coaching program that I think would be perfect for you. And at this point, they're just staring at your beautiful one pager. Pretty cool, right? Now, a quick little note about this is you do not have to share your screen. You do not actually have to be on Zoom video if you don't want to. We prefer it if you did, if you were a client of ours, just because it builds a lot more know, like, and trust because they could actually see you looking them in the eye and obviously that's gonna build more trust than them just looking at a black screen. You know what I mean? That said, if you're really uncomfortable because it's maybe one of your first sales calls, then here's what you can do. You can jump on the call with your camera on, say a quick hello to the person, then tell them, hey, you know what? Let's just turn our videos off. That way it keeps the audio really clear and we can both hear each other and it'll just take up less bandwidth. Sound good? Cool. And then that way you can go to a black screen. You've already built a little know, like, and trust and they already see that you're a real person. And then you can literally just pull up a sales framework and just make sure you nail that. Now, another reason why you might want to not show video on your Zoom is kind of like what we touched on earlier, is if you have an unstable internet connection. So like that little reason that we gave earlier for turning off our videos, like that's a really good reason and it's true. If you use Zoom without the video, then it actually will stream a lot easier. So I just wanna share those quick little tips and nuances with you, but let's keep going. Huge tip right here is always record your calls. So this is for two reasons. Number one, game tape footage. You can see what you did wrong on a sales call in case you didn't close someone. Two, it's for game tape footage for the calls that you actually close. You can see what you did right and then not only that, in the case that you ever want to have someone working for you or with you, take sales calls for you, you can then show them what a perfect sales call looked like, or even a handful of perfect sales calls look like. Pretty cool, right? So the URL for Zoom is zoom.us. Last, let's talk about software three, Calendly, which you'll be using for booking calls. Just like Zoom, they have both free and paid plans. Now, the free plan is completely fine at first, the only reason why you would maybe not want to use the free plan at first is because it shows a little tag that says Calendly at the top right corner. Me personally, I don't like logos to be showing up on things, hence that's why I'm not wearing a logo unless I'm sponsored by the company. I mean, then I'll rock logos, you know what I mean? Maybe you're the same way. So if you want to not have Calendly's branding on your Calendly page, then just pony up for the $15. Now, if you are a coach that's making over 10K a month, then I would really suggest that you stop being so stingy and you pay $15 for the paid plan because there's some cool things you could do with 
the $15 a month plan. Number one is you can send text follow-ups, which is really cool. And then number two is you can customize the thank you page that people see after they've booked a call with you. And so a good thing that you could do here is basically have a little thank you for booking video and then let people just binge watch your content. This is super key. It kind of comes down to the idea of the rule of seven. Now, in case you haven't heard of the rule of seven, it's actually really cool and it dates back to the 1920s. So here's how it came about. All these movie theaters were trying to figure out how to get people in to watch their movies. And then the marketers and advertisers of the time realized that if they could get people to see at least seven advertisements for a movie, then people would have a high chance of then going and watching that movie. That's where the rule of seven came about. Nowadays, since we're all space cadets and there's advertisements everywhere, we become a little bit numb. So we need to see a lot more than just seven quick advertisements. So now the way we like to think about the rule of seven is the seven hour rule. So ideally, before you get on a sales call with someone, if we can make it so that they've watched seven hours of content of you before that call, they're most likely going to close. Now, another reason why you want to make sure you use a call booking system like Calendly is because it makes your business so much more efficient by cutting out the back and forth meeting scheduling BS. So instead of having to talk to someone that you're thinking about getting on a call with and being like, hey, love to get on a call with you. How does Tuesday at three work? And then then being like, let me get back to you. Um, oh, you know what? I actually have someone at three. What about Friday at two? And then you're like, ah, oh, Friday at two doesn't work. Look at all this back and forth BS. We can just cut out, cut it all out and just say like, hey, love to schedule a meeting with you. Sound good? Yes. Okay, perfect. Here is a link to my calendar go ahead and schedule a time that works best for you. See how much more simple that is? We also use it, Calendly, to pre-qualify prospects. So the cool thing is once people book time into your calendar, then you can also ask them a couple questions. This is super, super epic. Now a good rule of thumb is when you're first starting out and you don't have many people booking calls, you want to have flow before friction, meaning you wanna have as few questions as possible because the more questions you add, the more reasons people will have to see the form and be like, you know what, this is too much word work, I'm gonna bounce and then you'll lose some book calls. But once you start getting some good lead flow, you start getting a bunch of book calls, then I would max that puppy out and have 10 qualifying questions because here's where things get really cool. If you ask people how much they're making, what their biggest pain points are, what they're looking for, and some questions like that, you will literally know how to close them before you even get on a call with them. You'll know what buttons to press and they'll feel really understood. And it's gonna be a really efficient and quick call. Another cool thing about Calendly is if you want, it puts the calls straight onto your Google Calendar. So the URL for Calendly is calendly.com. So if you don't have a call booking software yet, make sure you go use them. They're great. So those are the top free softwares, the only three you need to run your online coaching business. Simple, right? And that's why launching an online coaching business is literally the fastest way to go from scratch to six figures. You can literally get started in one day and you, you can get started with zero overhead. You don't need to hold any inventory like with drop shipping, and you don't have to spend months on a course like when you're selling a digital course. Now, of course, at any time when you're scaling your business, you can invest and upgrade your software, but if you're just starting off or if you're trying to keep expenses really low and even free, then these are the three you need. So that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions, please post them down below and be happy to answer them for you. That being said, if you want our personal help on helping you launch your own profitable online coaching business in as little as 30 to 90 days, then go ahead and book a call below. With that being said, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Yay!